हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज टेक्निक्स ऑफ पोल बॉल्ट जंप टेक्निक्स ए वे ऑफ कैरिंग आउट पर्टिकुलर टॉस्क स्किल और एबिलिटी इन ए पर्टिकुलर फील्ड ऑफ ए रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ए पॉट एंड ए होल इज कॉल्ड ऑफ पोल बॉल्ट जंप पोल बॉल्टिंग इज ए ट्रैक एंड फील्ड इवेंट इन विच ए पर्सन uses a long flexible poles as an aid to jump over a bar pole jumping competitions were known to the ancient greeks few techniques of pole vault jump are as listed below few mean small number techniques a way of carrying out a particular task skill or ability in a particular field of a relationship between a pot and a hole is called of pole vault jump pole vaulting is a track and field event in which a person uses a long flexible poles as an aid to jump over a bar pole jumping competitions were known to the ancient greeks or as listed below means or as marked under holding of poles means pole vaulting is a track and field event in which person uses a long flexible pole a method of holding or pushing the bar back into pegs while jumping over a height a pole is held in the left hand keeping palm towards the ground means the pole vaulter gripping the pole in his left hand and palm in the direction of field the right hand is near the hip on the back and at end of the pole means the pole vaulter right hand close to the hip on the back and end of the pole when holding the pole the left arm makes an angle of 100 degree with the elbow means at what time the pole vaulter grip the pole the left arm of the athletes makes an angle of 100 degree with the elbow carrying of pole means how to sport and move from one place to another place along with the pole the pole is held keeping the wrist straight and away from the body means during carrying of pole the athlete wrist straight and remain far away from the body of the athlete with the right hand the pole is pressed downward and between the thumb and the first finger means the athlete carry the pole in the right hand and give pressure downward in the middle of thumb and first finger then both the elbows make an angle of 100 degree means at that time both the elbow make an angle of 100 degree the distance between the two hands is 24 inches to 36 inches means the space in the middle of two hands as about 24 to 36 inches the distance also depends on the structure of the athlete and his comfort while running with the pole means the space as well as sport on the physical position of the athlete and his freedom from pain while running with the pole approach run means approach follows a basic jump style turn that creates center fugal force to propel the athlete around the curb of the jump when an athlete start getting correct approach run means at that time the athlete near and begin his running in the direction to come to nearer the action can be thought later on means the process of doing something can be think at the time in the future the best method for this is to run athlete with the pole for a distance of above 
50 meter along a mogged line on the ground means the finest way is the athlete to run with for about 50 meter space with the marked line on the field. The athlete should do this practice for few days and his foot touches at the required positions. Means the athlete try again and again at least his foot touches in the right place. After this an athlete works on the runway of the pole vault means later on the athletes do practice on the runway. The approach run is also increased or decreased along with the feet means with the help of feet the athlete can increase or decrease his approach run. He should mark one check mark in the approach run of the pole vault means the athlete used to indicate the approach run of the pole vault. The athlete should be faster during the last four to five strides. In the last four to five st steps, the athlete run faster. Pole vault. Pole vault means how to set or place pole in particular position. Pole planting should be fast in case of steel pole and slow in case of fiberglass poles. Means the pole planting of steel pole is faster as compared to fiberglass pole. It is not possible to plant the pole with full speeds. Means it is difficult to plant the pole in top speed. While planting pole, the athlete should count 1 and 2 means at that time the pole bolter count 1 and 2 for planting of pole on 1 he will take off his left foot and the knee of the right foot will lift upwards mean at the counting of 1 lift of his foot and the knee the right foot will be departure upward on 2 his body will start Swinging means at the counting of two, the structure of the athlete move back and forth. At this, an athlete should free his right leg so as to meet the left one. During move back and forth, the pole bolter free his right leg so as to meet the left one. Take off. If the pole bolter is in the act of leaving the ground when the pole bolt pole strikes the back of the box, the pole moves freely to the vertical, vertical to create a powerful spin and good penetrations into the pit. While taking off right knee should come forward in this, the body is lifted and chest is pulled towards the pole. Means at a period of time leaving the ground, right knee come a head. Now pole faces the chest while leaving the ground. The hand and the arm are straightened. During the position, the body is lifted in the air and chest is pulled downward in the direction of the pole. Now pole faces the chest while leaving the ground. The hand and the arm are straightened. Means the pole faces the one. Then the athlete lift his body in the air. The hand and the arm become straight. During swing, the right leg lifts upward and facing the chest means when the body move back and forth the right legs lifts towards higher place and facing the chest of the athlete. Swing up means an athlete hanging from the pull up bar in an upright vertical position may kick his her legs and toss her.
up to an inverted particular positions stimulations movement of a pole vault the swing and row simply consists of the athletes swinging the trail leg forward and rowing the pole bringing his top arm down to the hips while trying to keep the trail leg straight to store more potential energy into the pole means in swing the pole vaulters backward leg come ahead and just propelling a boat by means of oars at that time the pole vaulters keep backward leg straight give capacity to develop more strength extension means an act of extending lengthening stretching out or enlarging the scope of something the extension of the hips upward without stretched legs as the shoulders drive down causing the athlete to be positioned upside down the pole vaulter extend his hip without hold out the legs and the shoulders drives down the athlete keep his place upside down the hands of athlete remain close to his body as they move from the shins back to the region around the hips and upper torso means the hands of athlete remain close to his body the front of the leg below the knee surrounding the hips and upper torso turn means the pole vaulters move in a circular directions wholly or partially around an axis or a point the turn is executed immediately after or even during the end of the rock back means the pole vaulter carry out the quickly turn at 180 degree in the directions of the pole and expand the arms down word past the head and the shoulders as the name umpires the athlete turns 180 degree downward the pole while extending arms down past the heads and shoulder because the athlete spins around an imaginary axis from head to toe means for the reason that the pole vaulter moves his body from head to toe with think exist only in his mind fly away fly away means the fly away is the lost part of the pole vault this steps happens naturally the phase mainly consist of athletes pushing off the pole releasing it so it falls away from the bar and mats means in this stage pole vaulters throw off the pole falls away from the long rigid metal bar and landing mats as his or her body goes over and around the bar the athlete is facing the bar means when his body cross the long rigid metal bar rotation of the body over the bar occurs naturally and the athlete's main concern is making sure that his or her arms face and any other appendages do not knock the bar off as he or she goes over means the pole vaulter concentrate only on his body when he crosses the long rigid bar his any part of the body does not touch the cross bar the athlete should land near the middle of the landing mat or pit face up means the pole vaulter should throw his body in the middle of the crash mat thanks and have a nice day